Hey guys, this is Tolhi, and welcome to Let's Play Minecraft um, alternate series. I'm not sure what to call this. Um, so, when I asked people a couple video ago, a couple of videos ago, what should I do now? Uh, some of the suggestions I got was uh, make a new world. Uh, well, this isn't too bad, I guess. Um, but the I didn't want to leave my castle behind, but I got this cool idea for. Um, what I could do, um, you know, so that I'm not leaving my castle behind. Don't don't get this wrong. I'm making a new world, but I'm not. This is going to be a very short world, because I'm going to have a very specific goal for this set, uh, this alternate uh, let's play uh, of Minecraft. So what I'm going to try and do here is I'm going to, well, but I'm going to try and see how long it could take me to get to the nether. So I'm really a answering the question, how long would it take me to get to the nether if I started a new world? That's that's sort of the, the question I want to answer, and this is what this is going to be. So I'm kind of rushing here, so I hope I'm making sense. But yeah, so basically I'm going to answer the question, how long would it take me to get to the nether, I wonder. So... I'm going to first start off by getting 32 wood here, then from there I'm going to go and try and find some coal quickly, and then somewhere near this area I'm going to start digging uh, downwards in a stair fashion, uh, simply because I don't want to waste wood by building ladders to build straight down. So stairs should still work, then I'm going to get to bedrock, do some branch mining, try and find some lava, turn to obsidian, mine that, then try and make a portal to the nether. So. That's my strategy here. So it's really a Minecraft speed run because th this game doesn't have a lot of goals, but it is very linear in what you can do because you can't really get diamond until you get uh, iron, I believe, and you can't get obsidian to make your gate until you get your diamond. So you kind of got to go in order. Um, and this isn't a bad world to start with because good amount of trees around. Um, would be nice if I start the world and there was coal looking right at me. That would be awesome, but not much of a chance of that I guess so 30 this will probably be 31 yeah and then I need I said 32 I'm gonna get 32 now turn this into two stacks of 64 uh, planks okay 60 and then use four yeah to make a workbench Okay, now, uh, workbench, well, first let's go see if we can find the coal, then we'll put the workbench down. Oh, excellent. Coal right here in the open. Oh, I see another one up there, too. Okay, so this is where we're, oh, and look, iron. Okay, so this is going to be really simple. Um, it's not really even fair to say how long would it take me to get to the nether on this try, because this is probably best case scenario but whatever okay and then like so and now I am gonna cut out the the mining of this cobble st or this this coal um, well no because then I was thinking I was gonna have to cut it out because normally you find uh, coal in little caverns and it's hard for you guys to see and such and such but seeing as it's right here in the open, oh, more coal there. Coal is not going to be a problem on this attempt. Okay, so good. 11 should do me for now. Let's get this iron. Is that a pocket of four sitting on the surface? Excellent. Now I'm going to save this until I get to... Uh, the diamond because I'm going to need it so um, for the time being let us make one storage box quickly quickly and put that in there and this 64 in there then make some sticks and make all of this into torches 44 should be enough hopefully Okay, now let's start digging down in a stair with like fashion, which just means uh, dig down two in front, move forward, dig down two in front. Well, one in front, sorry. 
So down one, forward. Down one, forward. So this I will cut though, and then I'm gonna keep track of time, and then ooh, more coal. Um, and then I'll and when I cut back, I'll have a little timer up in the corner saying how long this took me. So be right back. Okay, we're back. So up in the corner, there should be a little message saying how long this took. I won't know until I actually edit, but I just hit the... I just hit the bedrock there. Um, and so I hit two iron on the way down, but I only mined exactly what I f was in my direct path. So grab these two pieces here. And that gives me five. And that should be enough for me to... Oh, and one more here. And zombies in the walls. Not concerned about zombies in the walls, though. Oh, this should be more than enough iron that I can make myself some pickaxes to help move the search for diamond along. Some, uh, or some iron pickaxes to help me try and get some, uh, try and get through the branch mining faster is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Hello pig. Um, so we're gonna need to make a furnace and nightfall is coming. Okay, put down the furnace. Put some coal in. Cook that. And that. And let's go get some more coal just in case. Now I have to be aware of monsters. Okay, so uh, I need more sticks. Take that out. Two, three. Okay, and then we'll make one more and then we'll leave the rest of this cooked and then we're gonna actually go start the branch mining. So let's actually go start branch mining and try and find some diamond. Okay guys, so on the third row, uh, we actually found some diamond. One block it looks like, but there might be more behind it. So I ran out of, uh, oh, two blocks. And I hear lava, which makes me nervous. Oh, three blocks. Okay, that's what I need. So the lava's also around here somewhere though. So I got a oh four blocks. Four blocks. Four blocks looks to be the count we're going with. I'm just digging it out so that I don't lose any of it. And then I'm gonna have to head back up to the service and get another iron pick. Oh, there's the lava. Alright, that's sort of good. At least I know where the lava is now. Okay, so be right back. I'm going to head to the surface and uh, get uh, some water uh, in a bucket and an iron pick. Okay guys, we're back up here. Got the diamond picks and a bucket. So I'm just going to grab some water. Water grabbed. And heading back down again. And we're at the bottom now, guys. So, oh, past it. Uh, down this one here. We're going to get our diamond. Right here. And we know there's lava right there, so... And right there. Okay, so we need to figure out a way around in order to get up. Where is that lava? There it is. And then we drop our bucket of water. And 
put up some torches so I don't get mobs spawning in here. Okay. And one or two more torches. Okay, now we can start actually digging. Um, I'm going to make another workbench. So I don't have to go all the way to the surface to get my diamond pick. Put that down there. Uh, make some more sticks. And now we can start actually mining out this obsidian. Alright guys. So we have now finished digging up 14 pieces of obsidian. Which is all we need to start the process of building the gate. Almost done now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to edit this all down to one video because I haven't stopped recording this whole time. Like normally when I do a video when I say I'm stopping recording I hit the button to actually stop fraps. But on this one here when I say oh, I'm going to cut for a second I'm actually just leaving it roll and then when in the editing process I'm going to try and cut out all the parts where I'm not talking. But this way, seeing as I never cut, I'll be able to actually look at the recorded footage and see exactly how long all of it is. And then we'll answer the question, how long does it take to get to the nether in a new world? Alright, so where do we want to put this? Um, uh, ideas, thoughts, ideas. Over there. This is going to take a little more time, but oh wait, before I go though, I should grab um, some iron. And I have some flint. Sort of can't really get this going without these pieces, can we? Okay, and there we have two flints and steels, but we'll leave one behind. Actually, let me just put all this in here. Okay, guys, so I've gotten rid of everything that I shouldn't need except for the couple torches I'm going to take with me because it's starting to hit nightfall there now. And we're going to head over to this little island and set up the portal. And then walk through it and then declare that my, my goal has been finished. Objective complete. Now on this tiny little island that is in the shape of a moon we shall light the trees aflame for I do not need you trees on my island. And right here I think we shall build a portal. One, two, three, four blocks wide. Now I can't misplace this because if I misplace this it's going to make this a whole heck of a lot harder. What are you doing chicken? You're catching yourself on fire. You're crazy. Crazy. Okay, don't misclick. Okay, done. Portal complete. New world portal done going through I have entered the nether in a new world in approximately well no approximately to it let me just check the time as soon as I get through here simulating the world for a bit Okay guys, let me just uh ah, go leave this place alone. Don't kill me. And leaving the nether so I can check time. Let me just stop the recording for a second. And we're back. So to make a new world and to gather the diamond, uh it takes approximately 33 minutes. So about 30 minutes, let's say. So question answered. How long does it take to get a portal in a new world? About 30 minutes. Now this is probably either, this is definitely going to be cut down to at least two videos, maybe even one. If I stop talking now, probably a better chance of getting it down to one. So yeah, uh, this is Tolhe signing out. Uh, later guys.